Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot with your love reading for January 2018. Happy New Year to all of you. Uh, real quick, please visit my website, moonpietarot.com, for two special readings that I've just added. The 2018 New Year Love Reading Ahead and How They Feel About You Reading. You can also follow me on Instagram for weekly general readings at Moon Pie Tarot, or as always, download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store. You can call me on this app from 4 to 8 p.m. Eastern Time for instant readings. We can chat over the phone or just text me or you can chat me there to get quick answers. So let's get started with your reading. Now I'm starting with Virgo first because I do believe Virgo had the most reading or the most views um, for December 2017, which I think was over 35,000 views, which is fascinating. Okay, so Virgo, you're a lucky, lucky day. So we're going to start with, uh, oh, real quick, I am using for the new year, the Crystal Visions Tarot. Okay, this is a brand new deck. So it's refreshing and out with the old, in with the new. So we're starting with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so I really feel, Virgo, that you are focusing on your... A lot of you may still be single, and you. I feel like a lot of you are focusing on work uh, in the new year. Maybe, you know, getting your money together, getting your business together. Um, this can be a card sometimes about a male or female, someone who doesn't have a partner. And it's not that there's a sadness about that. It's just that I feel like you guys are maybe accepting this situation or have accepted maybe there was hope for someone to come back last month or December and maybe that person hasn't shown up yet so you're just taking on this energy of being self-sufficient maybe refining your your lifestyle um, getting comfortable in your surroundings um, it's a sense of contentment uh, you know when you look at this picture you know she's in her garden and she's with that tiger and there's just this feeling of being at harmony with anything that she can't control um, that she is now taming in her life okay and I feel like it's a really good place to be I don't feel like there's a sense of feeling bitter or anything like that because I do see here in your past position you have the judgment card so either some of you did have reconciliation or came to some truths or a karmic situation was filled and this is really just the energy there could have been reconciliation for some of you okay or just this uh, feeling of you know feeling triumphant or feeling like at some point in the past even if it wasn't in December or even if it was in November or October you did have this sense of you got what you wanted or someone got what they deserved moving into the present though there's a king of cups here so some of you are dealing with a water sign or presently will be in January of 2018 so because it's a general reading this could be male or female but this is a cancer scorpio or pisces and this can be someone who's older or close to your age the king of cups is generally very compassionate and he's in the upright so you know he means well his intentions are always good he's strong patient an honorable kind person uh, very intuitive very balanced with his emotions he's fair um, intelligent uh, kind of a leader it, it, more diplomatic he's not like a fire sign type leader where they just charge out like you know their presence this man or woman is a bit more laid back they're good at uh, keeping the peace and when you look at this card, you can see 
how he's got one foot in the water and one foot on the rock, which shows a sense of stability, but also motion, emotion, so very well balanced type of a person. But in the challenge position, you have the four of pentacles. So you're having probably difficulty holding on to this person, okay? Or there's like a lack of stability with this person. If this is someone you were dealing with in the past, maybe that you reconciled with or, uh, or were trying to reconcile with, uh, th there's it's difficult to keep and maintain stability in this relationship because the four of pentacles can talk about holding on to something holding on to something tightly can even be kind of a secret not letting people know you know what's uh going on behind closed doors and you may feel like you want to possess this person in some way or control this person in some way. And the King of Cups is not usually one that can be controlled. Um, this is like the energy of someone who's unwilling to share. And doesn't want to also, some of you may not want to take a risk losing this King of Cups person in your life. Okay. Sorry for the blur. It'll clear up soon. Um, but so there could have been some type of reconciliation with this King of Cups in the past, but it's still a situation where I just feel like it's like maybe you guys reached this place where of agreement or desire to make things work, but it's still difficult to hold on to this relationship in some way for some reason. Now what's driving you is the sun. So this is good because you still are remaining positive about this relationship. You still have all this bright, sunny, a bright, sunny disposition. You're being as open as you can now in the month of January. I feel like Virgo, you're just going to start opening up yourself to this person, regardless of their desires or their wants, their needs. You know, uh, some of you may have a child, so this could be someone that you have a child with. Mm, and all these butterflies, too. So these butterflies, for some of you, they represent something. And I feel like it's also a sense of freeing your thoughts. So if you were, you know, in a situation with this person where you felt like you or you feel like you need to hold on to them in like a grasping kind of a way um, I, f I get the sense that you're you're actually going to just start opening yourself up as a form of doing it because I don't feel like this four of pentacles energy is something that will work for you in your mind what's crowning you you have the hangman so this energy of you know accepting the situation you're not too happy with the way uh it's it's presently going i feel like you had, some of you had an expectation that maybe you felt like once you reconciled things would be better or things would be things would change but for some reason you're, you're having trouble getting that expectation met. And I think that could be because you're grasping too hard to the situation or holding on too tightly. Instead, the energies are really just coming through for you to just maintain a positive attitude, to not have a cynical attitude, to try not to be a perfectionist about it, to try not to be... Um, in this place where well if this person doesn't do a b or c then it's not going to work for me you know not everyone can meet your expectations and i know that you know that and i know that it's difficult for you guys sometimes to just kind of let it go and let it be but i feel like you want to with the hangman 
you just want to get to this place of acceptance, you know, okay, so questioning yourself, you know, uh, this is a karmic relationship between you and this King of Cups. Um, this is a relationship that is a struggle. It has its ups and downs. It is a situation that can be um, very back and forth sometimes. It's difficult to maintain uh, the uh, this person can be very secretive as well. So it's difficult to know whether you should trust this person or not. And again, it's telling you to just maintain this level of positivity. To not allow yourself that the minute that you think something's happening or think something's not happening, to not allow yourself to go into the gutter with that, to not think the worst, to think the best you can about this person because I feel very strongly that this King of Cups person is very uh, up and up. I don't feel like there's any deception or anything s sneaky, truly. You know, water, water sign people just have this energy of privacy. They really do. And it's not that they're up to no good. It's just that they maintain this internal clock that they have to keep a check on at all times and they're constantly focused inward on that. Okay, and so they're paying attention constantly what's going on within them. And so it may seem as if that they are not uh, focused on you or f all the time. And you may need that a little bit, but sometimes it helps to just understand the person that you're with. Now, this is a very general reading. And I will pull some clarifying cards. Now, what's coming up for you in the near future is transformation and change. You're being called to make some kind of change. And I feel like for you, that has to do with acceptance and taking a positive outlook on the situation. I feel like you're transforming some type of a life change here, possibly an old way of viewing things or an old way of thinking about this person. Uh, instead of, you know, inquiring all the time what they're doing, where they're going, who they're with, just kind of taking this, you know, stepping back attitude and saying, you know, do what you got to do. I am happy and focus on their good qualities as much as possible because I feel like I feel like this person is very passionate about you Virgo and I feel you may you may want to end the relationship with this person because of the death card because it's difficult to hold on to them for some reason. I don't know what the reason would be. Um, but I don't really feel like that's the answer for you. Here's the thing. In the position of you, you have the justice card. And this is saying to see the truth of this situation for the month of January 2018 see what is right about this situation okay the seven of swords to clarify in the advice is don't deceive yourself so kind of do a double check look at the facts and you're good at that virgo look at the facts not not don't pay attention so much to your emotions about this situation because i know with this person you may feel like one minute you're up the next minute you're down the next minute you're up the next minute you're down and Virgos like it to be very consistent and very orderly so that could be why there's this four of pentacles in the challenge position but it's also in a benefit for you because it's teaching you something as I was saying with judgment here this is a very karmic relationship and you're learning a lot a lot about yourself in your involvement with this king of cups so this card is just telling you to come to a verdict during the month of january about what it is what the truth is of the situation you may need to seek some type of counseling in with this involvement with this person or seek out uh, a spiritualist or an advisor to to gain clarity 
and to gain truth um, to, because I feel like you may deceive yourself at times about this person um, but probably because you want so much to have them in your life or you want so much to you know hold on to them and we really can't ever hold on to anyone <laughs> you know we can cause them to desire to want to be with us and they will want to if there's this positive energy being maintained as best as possible um, but I feel like there is a possibility that you could just be worrying too much about the fact that if you don't hold on tight enough you'll lose them and actually letting go is what keeps people around not holding on to them tightly so that they can't move and they can't breathe or they have to constantly now as again again as i said this is for um some of you others of you you have situations where you're dealing with someone who you could be dealing with um a king of cups who's from your past where they could be very difficult to they could be giving you difficulty as far as uh, staying with you or they could be very possessive themselves and that could be very difficult for you in some way because you just want to you just want to keep being out in the light and being out in the open and and you could be dealing with someone who just doesn't want you to do that okay Virgos is it could be some of you who are you know in positions where you're always uh, maybe a lot of you could be very popular or you're out in situations where you're always out in the open and people are always seeing you look how beautiful she is and with a child and and so it could be a situation like that as well and this person could be you know uh, trying to keep you in a particular place and not let you grow okay and has having difficulty you know uh allowing you to just be you okay i feel like that's for a small percentage of you not all of you but with the death card i'm seeing some type of a transformation here a change and i'm going to clarify that to see what that could be it could be a change in the relationship it could make could be getting better it could be getting worse uh it could end it could start and build up new so let's see what the energies are for the death card what is this change or this transformation that's going to happen for virgo for january 2018 good so you have the three of wands so that represents progress things are going to begin to progress in a positive direction okay and I feel like there's insight and that's what you're going to start getting there's insight maybe about I feel Virgo for this is really for you to begin to take accountability for your role in this relationship or your role now some of you could be single and so there could be a king of cups that could be making themselves present during this time period um, and again all the things that I said about the king of cups good uh, but they could be a little bit possessive uh, and may want to try to keep you um, from shining but I don't feel like you're going to allow that you're going to whether you're single or involved with this person you're going to m make progress you're going to make change and I feel like it could be for some of you, you could be dealing with a Scorpio because of the death card so there could be a change happening with a Scorpio that progresses into a better situation for January but you're, it's really the advice for you to be honest with yourself and not deceive yourself about what it is that you want in this relationship or from this person what you desire and don't deceive yourself about them either do you see how i just want to show you you see in the seven of swords here how he's got the black wings and the crow there very similar to this death card 
Okay. So I feel like it has to do with the change has to do with this possible Scorpio where there's going to be some type of change with this person, progressive, powerful change. Sorry for the blur again. Now, what's external to you? This could be, um, so for those of you who are not dealing with a water sign, you could be dealing with fire. It could be fire and water, but this person is external to you. And how they're viewing you and viewing the situation and they're viewing you um, if you're male as someone who is very fiery and dominant and they're viewing you what I was getting was very similar to this here someone who is able to tame a situation or tame others uh, very calm but in control of her his his or herself and you could also be dealing with this person who could be a fire sign leo sagittarius or an aries okay uh, i feel like quite honestly that the king of cups and the king of wands is the same person okay that they just have this they could have uh, water in their uh, heavy water in their their natal chart or they could have heavy fire in their natal chart I feel like the King of Wands, sorry about that, is generally, his description is someone who's very creative and ambitious, um, very charismatic, assertive. Mm -hmm. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo or yeah, Leo. Um, but this person's very passionate and magnetic as well. Okay, so I want to clarify why their significance. I think my I think my videos are so blurry because it's dark in here, and I'm very sorry about that. So this King of Wands. Okay, so I feel like this person wants to build with you I feel like they want to have that happy home in some way because look the Sun card some of you Virgos could have a lot of Leo in your chart somewhere um, do you see how she's on her own with child And here with the Ten of Cups, she's still there with child, but now there's someone with her. But for some reason, Virgo, I think, you know, I feel like you're maybe a little fearful, too, because you've got the Nine of Pentacles here, which is telling me that, you know, you're protecting yourself from something. You're staying in this work mode or you're staying in this position where you, you just want to be self-sufficient but I feel like you're scared you're afraid of of this particular person either you're guarding yourself or you're fearful you're going to be hurt by them yet at the same time you want change and you want movement it's just you don't know which direction to go you know, do you go to the dark side? Do you go to the white side? Which can both of these, I feel like you're both very different in some way. Or there's uh, friction between the two of you. And, and so you desire, you want to have, you know, both of you meshing together and taking the same path. But you fear that there won't be any change or there won't be any movement. But I feel like there is because of the death card here. I feel like there will be change and transformation, that things will progress, but I feel like it's gonna start with you, within your own backyard, your own life, how you're living, how you view things, how you view the other person. Because I don't feel like this person is evil in any way. I just feel like, Virgo, you're probably a little fearful and some of you may have gotten to this point uh, even if this is someone new coming in, 
that you just feel like if I just stay single and focus on my work, everything will be fine. And I don't have to deal with any emotional issues or baggage or drama from um, a marriage or a relationship. Or if I just don't focus on fixing these things, I won't have to worry about it. But your heart longs for that because that's what the nine of pentacles is she longs to have someone she do, she wants and needs someone by her side she can tame anything it's not she doesn't want this tiger by her side she can't kiss him i mean she can but she wants a partner you know so ask yourself what has been going on there's been some kind of a karmic lesson with this person you may have been dealing with um even if you haven't met someone in the past and this isn't someone new coming in there's been a lot of changes happening in your life where this past year you've really just been taking a look at yourself asking yourself what, what you want and now you're doing it again but now with someone new coming in so your outcome card and it's interesting in this deck is called the unknown card okay so what the unknown card represents is it's a card about there's something deep down within you that you must still with only with your intuition will you be able to figure out the answer now i know you you want to listen to this reading and i and i did pull a clarifying card to maybe help give you a, a little push to figure out what it is that's deep down inside of you that you have not touched yet about either this relationship or getting things off the ground or how to go about starting no new there's something that you want within it's always calling out to you sometimes it's a loud voice sometimes it's a quiet voice but it's really important for you to take time to to not just lay there and be distracted to but really ask yourself you know can this situation work? Can this relationship work? Is this new relationship something that I want? Is this new relationship something that I can do? Am I ready? Okay. Um, I feel like it's really just about asking yourself during this time period, these questions. I don't, the unknown card falls in the outcome position, which indicates that it still needs to be um, it still needs to unfold. So there's, you know, still this, there's more to be done to clarify the big picture of this situation. You're not, you may be ready to make a move because you're tired of being single, or you may be ready, whether with someone new or with someone from your past or try to make the relationship better. I do see it progressing, but I feel like you're progressing as well. So try not to you know jump into anything but i will tell you that that card it has to do with a new beginning with the ace of wands okay a new beginning in passionate creative energy and the ace of wands it's always like a it's a potential for something new to start okay and that's i feel like that's what the unknown is in this deck what it's talking about here that they're telling you the hint is for you to ask yourself if you're ready okay uh, are you are you ready to move forward with confidence that it's time to put your fears aside it's time to get yourself to a place where you can trust again that's really the question that's the unknown that you need to really start asking yourself, are you willing to take a risk with this person? Are you willing to put everything out there? Are you willing to lay your cards on the table and say, this is what I am. This is all I am. This is all I have. And do you accept me for this? Are you, are you ready for me? That's really what the question is. If this is someone new or if this is someone from your past that you've reconciled with, and asking yourself, are you ready for this person? Because again, I feel like there's a little bit of fear about them, uh, a fear of either losing them or a fear that this person will come in and you won't be able to have them stay or there's a fear that they will leave you. 
But I don't feel like, uh, I, and I'm not saying your fears aren't valid or justified because, you know, fears are fears, but they're fears. And, you know, they may come from the past or, you know, situations that you may have been through. So I think what the cards are really just trying to tell you is to take this time out in your life to figure out now how you want to move ahead with this new year with this particular person it's time for you to actually you know it's interesting i'm looking at these cards the only swords you have are the seven of swords so there's not much in the way of communicating how you feel to the other person it's really it's really i feel like the only the seven of swords is just saying for you to not deceive yourself anymore about this person the cards are saying this is more about you um, and what you want and what you want to do and making a decision to follow the path that you feel is best for you if to see if you are ready so I like I really I, I really like your reading I, I find it very deep <laughs> especially with that unknown card there. But I, I do feel that there is a new beginning coming for you. If you've had any type of, a tr of trouble, in, even if you are married or in a relationship already with someone, if you've had any type of trouble with this person, I really feel like it's time to look at where that trouble stemming from because it does take two to tango and of course if you're in a situation where you've been dealing with someone who's been abusive for a long time or treating you bad for a long time and you're aware of it then the trouble still is with you because you're aware of it and you're allowing it to move to go on so it's a time for reflection in january in the new year and figuring out which direction you want to go do you want to go with this person or do you want to just travel off on your own okay so Virgo I'm going to leave you your reading for now and I've said everything I need to say in the beginning about how you can contact me and reach me and uh Thank you so much for all the likes and the support and the comments and subscribes. Do please share my videos and my channel with others for anyone you think who might need it. And I, I, I was informed that I am being duplicated by another YouTube channel. So if you happen to see them, uh, I can't remember what they are called, but um, they are stealing my videos. And they do that to all of us. And I, really, to be honest with you, I'm not really upset about it because I, I say my name in my videos, so it's just more exposure for me. But if you see them, uh, I'm already aware. And thank you to those who have reached out to me to let me know. And uh, you can report them if you want. I, I've already done it, but, you know, it takes time. So, Virgo, I hope you have a very blessed 2018. And if you need that personal reading... You can always contact me at my website, moonpietarot.com. All right, take care. Bye.